What is going on guys, Bobby here, and today we have another good video for you guys. So it's been a little bit of a while, it's been like a week now, but we have another tournament video coming for you guys today. Now I've uh, also recorded a 1v1 video, you know, I scrolled through the comments, and one person's name seemed to jump out a ton. So I recorded a 1v1 with him already, it was super fun, super funny, and I'm hoping to get that out on Monday, because tomorrow we actually have the NA Supercell second week. You guys know I posted that on my channel last week, where myself, OG, and Daddy Squashy took that one home. We're playing again in it tomorrow, so hopefully we can repeat. But we have the Omen Siege Finals on deck today for this video. So what we're going to do is we're going to show all the games that took place in the finals. We faced Team Liquid's competitive, well, their new competitive team after myself, Feli, and Jack left. And let's see how they do against us. Alright, so here we go into the first game. Now, both teams ban the Brawler, so both teams get two bans, and we both elected to ban Rosa and Carl, as they're probably the two strongest Brawlers in the game so far. Now, I think I should have gone Gene on this map. As you guys know from watching my videos, Jack, best Nita literally ever. Absolutely insane. So you know he's going to be going with the Nita. Second best is going to go Barley against Glizzy Boy, and then we have myself on Brock. Now, I definitely should have gone Gene. I don't really know why I didn't. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. So I'm going to be going Brock. I'm going to be able to juke that super over there. We have the 2-1 lead right now. Now, the reason I did go Brock is because you guys can see this middle wall over here. The bot has to go all the way around that that uh, that wall, which causes them to get an extra amount of damage. It can do an extra, like, 15% if you can break that wall. So that's the reason I decided to go Brock, just so I can super easily break that wall. You know, second went down over there. Jack's been holding his lane really nicely. Um, myself and the Gene have kind of been going at it, but it's basically been a tie throughout the entire time. So I'm basically regenning over here. Second does get snuck on, but I'm able to kill that Leon, which gives me the super. So I'm going to be able to break that wall. Now, it didn't help too much this time, but for future pushes, it's going to help a ton. Now, the Gene is going to get that pull over there. Jack sees that coming. Jack knows what's happening, so he's going to go there. He's going to kill it. Now, I did take an overextend. I don't really think I was in the zone when that third one hit me. But, you know, if things happen, I went down to that, which is kind of an amateur move over there. You definitely don't want to go down just to get that extra shot. As you're coming back, and you guys can see I'm coming into play when there's 25 seconds left in the next siege. So you definitely don't want that happening. Myself and second are going to pinch Glizzy over there. Good jukes over there by that Gene to not get hit by me the first two, unfortunately, for him. I was able to get him at the end. You can see that the Leon went sneak. Myself and Jack do know that he's invisible because we don't see him on the map, but we didn't kill him. So we know he's, in we know he's invisible somewhere, so we just grouped up. Second and Glizzy still fighting it out, but it looks like Second's gonna get it over there. Jack is gonna get pulled. I'm gonna scare the I scared the Gene by flashing my super, so it wasn't able to come at me and hurt me at all. So I'm over here. I'm regenning. Basically, I don't want to get in range of that Gene just because we know it's gonna be able to to pinch me and not allow me to do much work. Now, really good play over there by Glizzy. Glizzy was able to actually get Jack and uh, and second sorry not well, yeah after he died he was able to get jack in second so i'm just over there i just took a few shots but again we did not do that much damage so i'm waiting for that barley to come up saving my super it's actually pretty hard to use a brock super on this map just because it's pretty open it's hard to hit people with it but anyways jack's gonna get snuck on he's gonna go he's gonna use his bear which is gonna give him some health and he's gonna be able to tie with that leon always super good to tie with the leon if you don't know he's about to sneak on you and then he's able to get you so this Gene's one shot. I have a little bit of a tough angle on him, but you know, we're still going to try and get him. He's aiming up that Gene super over there and you know, he was able to get it. It's kind of hard to juke the Gene super when he's holding it for that long and he can get closer and closer to you just because the closer you are, the higher percent of a chance you have to hit that Gene pull. Good juke over there by Jack. You know, Jack's like, I can't say enough already. Like you guys already know what I'm going to say about Jack. So I'm not going to say it. I was able to get that Gene over there with the uh, the Leon's gonna sneak on me. I'm gonna be able to only hit him once. Jack's gonna have to regen, and second is gonna go down. But luckily for us, he was able to take out Glizzy. So basically, right now it's like 11-11 after the two balls get cashed in. We're up in the lead right now. It's 13 to 11. Jack's been doing a great job holding his side. I did know that the Leon was invisible, and I did predict right where he was, so I was able to kill him. And on from here, it's just basically us holding position. You know, they're, they're going to get a kill or two probably, but it's just constant position for us. There's nothing that they can do to us. Uh, second, pushing them back. Myself and Jack got the kill on the uh, on the Gene. The Leon can't do much to us if he can't get beside us, and we're holding him back very nicely. And at this point, you know, we're winning by 12 bolts. You know, like, we they have 0% done to our uh, Ike, and it's the last one. So they know it's over. So they have the 24 power up, but... Four seconds left until the siege. That is going to end the game basically right there. The bot's going to go up. They gave up, so they're just going to stand there and die. 
super dumb, you know, got it, got, uh, apparently I got a team wipe, but it didn't really matter because they, you know, they gave up, they stopped moving, and that is going to be the end of the first game over there. So top into the second game, let's see if we can continue winning, let's see what we end up doing. So here we go into the next game now. We, although we are trying, we're not really trying to the fullest of our abilities, like it's it's not a super huge tourney. Um, it's not like for $10,000 or anything, so we're not really going all out. And they decide to bring on the sweatiest comp on this map. They got the, uh, the, the wall break range comp basically, which is super tough against every other comp. So they're actually destroying, and this game was actually super funny. Because usually what you do is you struggle at the start with their comp and then after you struggle you break the walls down with the Frank super with the cold super and then you just start to dominate. But a little bit of a spoiler it was kind of um, kind of reverse. So they're up 4 nothing at this point you know they're dominating. They're able to get that first power up and you guys know if you have a Colt and a Frank on your offense you're going to have a lethal attack. Crazy crazy DPS even the Pam has some insane DPS so I'm just in the corner over there. I mean, I'm able to chip that Frank, don't want him to come up with the bot too much. Um, originally, our plan was just basically to focus this bot, get it as low as possible, and then all of a sudden they just start doing insane, insane damage. They're all attacking it, the DPS, absolutely insane. Like, they just went all out, they suicided, and they did 74% on a level 4 push, or on a level 4 robot. Like, that is truly insane. Like, I, I don't know what we could do about it so at this point basically what their comp's goal is is to break as many walls as possible you can see i'm able to kill the frank over there just before he gets the bolt off and i'm able to regain my super from it and now that the walls are broken it should be a lot easier for them but right here we have them backed up pretty nicely you know jack although he doesn't he gets out range he's doing a great job juking that colt over there he's going to go close to it get that triple auto aim off and be able to kill him you know i went invisible didn't really need to go invisible i don't really know why i did I just knew I was going to get my invis invisibility back, so I was like, whatever. Second kind of choked that shot. And NBC, I was like, oh, second, like, whoa, what did you do? He he just choked that one pretty badly. He had an easy shot on the Frank, and he missed it. Um, yeah, but they're defending really well over here. Crazy DPS, as I've stated already. I was able to get the Frank, but there's nothing we can do. We did a grand total of 1% on that push. Yes, you guys heard me right. One singular percent was done on that push. So again, we can't give up one single attack or else they're 100% going to win the game. I used my super to try and get the Colt. I wasn't able to get the Colt because he backed up into the spawn, but he is 100 health, so he can't play aggro. And we were able to take out the Frank. Second is doing a really good job on Glizzy Boy over here. Unfortunately, though, he did miss a shot or two, so Jack did have to come over to help. A good clip over there by their Colt, so I almost went down, but their Frank was able to pick up a power up. Um, I don't want to go near Frank just because he's very very lethal with his super So I'm basically just going as close to I can with him to him without charging the super He was able to hit me once there which did give him the super though But that's that's kind of fine after like two and a half minutes without him getting super that's cool So basically we want to definitely do as much damage here as possible The goal is to get it to like 50% so that we can guarantee the fact that we're gonna win if we get the next push So you can see we're going in second puts down to super but their DPS, they just destroy it so ridiculously fast. We've had two pushes and we've done 25% compared to their one push with the level four bot at, uh, and they did 74. So right here, we have to win. We have to get as big as a bot as possible because you know their DPS is crazy. But our mindset changed. Instead of going for the Ike, as you guys can see how quickly they destroyed our robot, if we do get it, we're saying to each other, you know, let's kill them instead of kill, instead of going for the safe because they're the ones that are taking it down so fast. So myself and Jack and Second are doing a great job controlling the middle right now. You know, we're, we're getting pretty easy kills, pretty easy lane wins so far. We have 11, 12, 13. This is, it's just basically domination from this point. But all we have to do is secure that bot and do as much damage as possible. So you can see we're working on getting him low. We don't want them to regen. Glizzy went up a little bit too far. So Jack is able to get close. I'm able to hit Glizzy so he's not able to regen. And at this point, I kind of thought it was over, but then I went in, I did a, sh a lot of damage over there. It's a crazy amount of damage. Uh, second did a good job with that super, and you know, we just went in from there, and we got the win in that second game. So, GG to them for that second one. Uh, I don't know if I said this at the start, but it's a best of seven, so you need to win four games. So, good job on second getting that star player. It was really tough to beat this comp, since that's definitely the best comp by a mile on this map. 
But let's hop into that third game and let's see if we can continue winning. Alright, so here we go in that in this next game, and I'm gonna be going with the penny. They're gonna stick with Barley and Nita just because they've done a pretty good job on it so far. Um, again, I forgot Jean was a brawler. I don't know why I keep forgetting Jean is a brawler, but Jean is super, super good here. So I should have gone Jean mid. Um, very good choices by him. Bow lane by Glizzy Boy is actually very interesting. I haven't seen that on this map yet. Um, I don't know if it was too effective, but it's definitely an interesting choice. Bow doesn't have too many weaknesses, so it's a nice brawler to play. Um, so far, everything's just neutral. Although no one's really won a lane, we have been able to push them back a good amount. And we were able to get the lead. So I'm going to get pulled over there right towards the gene. Which is going to give the gene a pull. Because I also, I mean a, a bolt. Luckily for us, Jack was able to kill the gene. So we were able to get that bolt back. Uh, second in this barley are, are having a... Second has been basically just going on a barley off this entire time. Like it's pretty insane. Um, I think he lost once or twice maybe in, in, in the two games so far. So he's been doing an insane job at keeping it straight. Um, right here, this is a pretty crucial play over here. You guys know that the gene, look at this. Just just look at these auto aims right here. Oh, I can't believe I missed those three. I just spun at him and just walked away because I was like, oh, what did I do there? Like at this point, I was just totally comfortable with the fact that I was able to, that we were able to win this game, that we're dominating in the series so far. So I didn't even aim. I was just spamming the auto aim button, hoping it would hit him. But yeah, those were three pretty bad shots over there. But yeah, as you guys know, uh, the Gene's job on defense is to pull the bot away, but the Gene wasn't able to do it effectively that time, so we did get 40% on our original push, which I'll, I'll take that basically every time on our original push. Second best is pushing back that Barley well. Um, I'm able to kill a bow over there down. That was pinched in the corner with Jack. Um, I'm able just to go right beside this uh, this Gene and kill him right there. So one second left, we win. Uh, they have zero bolts this game, which is, which is pretty embarrassing for them that they weren't able to pick up a singular bolt. But with that being said, you know they're still good players nonetheless. It's just probably one of their first tournaments. I haven't seen them in too many yet, so props to them at least for getting to the finals. So over here, we're kind of just going off. Jack knows that the Gene's going to pull, so he just goes right beside the Gene. I'm going to go down because I played super aggro. I didn't see that Gene was getting the pull. But, you know, a lot left on the Siege bot. Jack in second going in, and that's going to end the third game. So I got zero bolts for the entirety of the game. Again, second best star player. Well played to him. He played amazing in these finals. Um, up 3 nothing at this point. It's, pretty, it's, it's looking pretty good for us. Um, you know, one more game and we have it, so let's hop into that. So here we go. Um, in this, uh, in the fourth game, and I decided, you know, I remember Gene was a brawler, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go Gene. And this team made some major adjustments to the way they played because they went off this game. So I'm able over here to take out the Gene in the mid. But good play over there by Nate to be able to kill me. Glizzy Boy, he, he was able to auto aim faster. He was able to take out Jack over there. And although Second's doing a good job, he was pushed off in the corner while his lane was able to get to the mid. So really good job over there. Good juke by Glizzy. He was able to juke out my super over there. Um, I was able to juke that Gene super by the uh, opposing Gene. I'm going to walk up to the Gene. Missed that first shot, but I just got closer and was able to take him out again. Unfortunately, that Barley just has my number. You know, he, he's not even focusing on second at this point. He's just saying, all right, if my mid goes down, I'll just get some easy shots on the mid. So basically what's happening is they won five to nothing. Well, they won four nothing. They got the level four bot, but they picked up the fifth as well. So they, they went off on that round. Really good job by them. Um, I can see that the bot's going on the left side. Originally, I was on the right to get that Gene pull, but I can see the bot's on the left. So I'm just going to body block it, hit it a few times, and walk to the side before he can punch it once, just kind of drag him away. Uh, I know it's going to kill Glizzy and so does second, so none of us focus on him, and the bot's going to go down without hitting it a single time. The Barley's also going to die by going a little too aggressive, and this is going to leave a 3v1 against their Gene. So even though their Gene does give me that pull, he does break that left side, which is huge, because I've been getting bullied basically the entire time by that Barley, and now I have access to also hurt the Barley and help second best out. So you can see Jack and Glizzy are going in right now. Um, you, you can see, sorry, I just had a little bit of a brain fart there. You can see that the Barley lane is being won, and the Gene mid, it, the Gene mid was kind of going off. Like, respects to him. He, he really played well in these final, uh, in this game at least. 
Uh, you can see Jack and Glizzy. I don't know. I don't even know what Jack did here, but he was able to juke that last shot over there by Glizzy, which kept him alive. And then the bear was able to get the kill. So insane play over there by Jack. I didn't even see what happened in the game. I was just like, oh, Jack is dead. And then I saw him got the kill. So I was really interested to see what he did over there. But yeah, you can see Glizzy near me. Uh, the gene pulled the bot. I, I don't think I would have done that pull. The bot had like 16% left. And a pull can change a game, so I don't think I would have pulled him over there. I think that was a little bit of a waste of a pull. But you can see we have 34% done, 66 left, compared to their 24% done, 76 left. So you can see I'm just kind of chipping over here. That was that was a bad miss on my part. Uh, I, I haven't been playing too much as of late. As you guys can tell by my trophies, it's pretty low. And, you know, I haven't had many tourneys. I, this is my first one of the week, so... My game was definitely a little bit off, but... You know, so far we're up. It's 7-4 to four over here, 7-6. to six. I thought they would be able to get it off, but second best was able to get a kill, which let that bolt go in the uh, in the grass and gave us this level 6 bot. Their gene's going to miss a pull over there, and this is giving us a ton of access. Their gene's going to be forced there, and it was either death by me or death by barley, so he chose death by barley. Gave barley the super. I was able to take out their barley, and at, in, at this point it's just an onslaught on the safe. We're absolutely going off. It's looking really good for us. I can get to super again. And that is going to end the fourth game. So this is going to be a clean 4-0 sweep against Team Liquid's competitive team. Um, shout out to them for making it to the finals and making it a fun finals. You know, they definitely weren't a cakewalk. They're, they're a tough team, even though we swept them. Most of them were really close games, so congrats to them. But that's going to be it for the video, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I do have the NA open tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to be able to post it. Depends how late it finishes. But I also have a 1v1 recorded that I think you guys are really going to like. So we'll see what I get out tomorrow, if anything. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe if you did. And that's going to be it for today. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.